as we have been using this um, pictures of El Greco, we are now looking no longer simply at who they are and how did they die and what did they do, but above all, they are the testimonies sila po ang nagsumakse sa ating tinatawag na Catholic faith. Alam niyo mga kapatid, there was a time walang Biblia. I mean, merong Old Testament na tinatawag natin. Up to now, yun po ang Biblia ng mga Hudyo. Pero yung ating tunay na Biblia is with the New Testament. Yung mga Ebanghelyo, kasulatan, ni Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, andun yung letters of St. Paul, pero at one point time, one, one, one time, there was none of this. Alam, alam niyo kung ano ang nasa atin noon? Mga apostoles. At yung kanilang pananalig at yung kanilang naranasan, yung kanilang nasaksihan, ito po ang pinag-istorya, storya, storya niya. At dahil dito, yung kanilang mga storya, narratives, ito po ang nagbuo sa pananamparatayang kristyano. The Catholic faith po did not come from the Bible. Rather, the Catholic faith brought about the New Testament. So kung sa panahon po natin, gusto natin malaman ang tamang interpretasyon ng Bible, dapat alam natin ang articles of the Catholic faith. Kasi kung anuman ang interpretasyon sa Word of God na nakasulat that goes against these 12 articles, mali po ang ating interpretasyon. Bakit? Hindi po siya hango sa Bible. Siya ang nagbuo ng Bible. Itong perspektibo to, yan po ang Catholic interpretation of the Word of God. It is from the Apostles' faith belief. Therefore, ang tawag dito, the rule of faith. Ito po ang ating saligan. Ito po ang ating parang uh, reference point of everything and anything about being Catholic. Okay. So, punta tayo sa Artikulo 1. Diba? 12 yan, ano? Article 1 of faith, Article of faith number 1. Ayun po, nakaputi. I believe in God the Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. Kapun po pinag-usapan natin yung the word I believe. Ngayon kuin po natin yung God the Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. Diyan po sa next nakita nyo na pinaghati-hati ko yung apat na yan. God, the Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. Number one, this affirms na meron Diyos. Ha? I put now Apostles' Creed, I put now Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed. There are two eh, di ba? Yung kinagamit natin minsang mahaba, we believe in one God. Of a... Kita nyo may ikaibahan, no? Yung Apostles' Creed, I believe in God. Yung Nicene Constantinopolitan, I believe in one God. Kung pupuntahan natin yung right-hand side, this connects Catholicism with Judaism, with the faith of the Jews. Kasi our faith and their faith is monotheistic. Iisa lang po ang Diyos. Therefore, ano po ang pinagbabasya dito? Made explicit is the core belief. There is no other God but Him. And so, yung first commandment given to Moses at Sinai, I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other God but me. No other God. Kasi isa lang. One God. Yun po ang inistress ng Nicene Constantinopolitan. Sa Apostles' Creed, which is far earlier, ito po ang belief, I believe in God. Ano yung I believe in God? No need to prove. The Apostles did not have to prove the existence of God. That's po in our so-called rationalism, age of reason. Bakit? Why does it not prove? Because it already assumes it. Bakit? Eh ba, ang kanilang experience are the mighty saving deeds. Gumagalaw ang Diyos eh. Paano hindi siya nag exist Di ba? Lalo na yung exodus at saka return from the exile. Because of these saving deeds, dama nila 
gumagalaw ang, ang may kapal, no need to prove he exists. Of course he exists. It is assumed. No need to make a rational proof of his existence. So that's the meaning of the affirmation that God, I believe in God, made Dios. Then let's go to the Father. It is also affirming that this Father is a God of relationship. Ah, tili niyo po yung kanan. Na iba po yan. While it is the same, yung God the Father, sa the Apostles, sa ating Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed, pero this is what differentiates Catholics from the Jews. While we sustain with the Jews monotheism, but we do not profess a numerical monotheism. Isang Diyos. We speak of isang Diyos pero relational. Bakit? Merong persons. Father, Son. How could you have a Father God who is not having a Son? Now the word God the Father or God our Father is found in St. Paul. Alam niyo sa pag-aaral ko? It's in all of his 13 letters. At lahat nasa simula ng sulat. Romans 1, 1 Corinthians, first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, 3, second letter to the Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. Kasi hindi po kanyang sulat ang letter to the Hebrews. 13 letters, Paul would always mention either God our Father or God the Father. So, ibig sabihin, God the Father is in the Bible, ha? Ah, teka muna. Sabi ko eh, galing ito kay San Pablo. Sa paniwala mga po, wala man si San Pablo nung narito si Jesus eh. Pinasa ito ng mga po, mga apostles kay Pablo. Eh si Pablo is a, a Jew. Ay bakit nakilala niya this relational monotheism? Eh, tinuro sa kanya. At ngayon, sinulat niya. So bago niya na isulat, tinuro sa kanya. Ito po ang ating Apostles' Creed. Eh. And therefore, what is this? Ito ay isang revealed truth. Hindi po natin makikilala. Ang Diyos pala'y Ama unless pinakilala sa atin, sinabi sa atin, ni-reveal. We cannot discover this truth. It is a revealed truth. And above all, ayan, nakalagay ngayon tuloy sa Bible, kasi ito po ang story ng mga apostoles. Narinig nila ang boses mula sa langit during the baptism and transfiguration. Someone in the cloud with a voice said, This is my beloved son. So in-assume nila, He is the Father. Okay? So the next, Almighty. Ano po ibig sabihin ng Almighty? Ah, if we affirm that God exists, the Father is a relational person, no? They are relational. Almighty. This affirms that God is unique in power. Again, it is found in the same versions of the Creed. Apostles and Nicene Constantinopolitan. Tingnan po sa kanan. Almighty appears 82 times in the Bible. 82, the word. 72 in the Old Testament, 10 in the New Testament. So it's an Old Testament word. It's a Jewish word. Almighty. It is found nine times in the book of Revelation. Sorry on that. And only once in the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Chapter 6, verse 18. 72 times. And book of the Apocalypse of Revelation. End times. Tinan yan, ah. Almighty. Alam nyo, ang tawag ko naman dito, hindi siya revealed truth. Ang tawag sa kanya, negative truth. Bakit? Kasi the might, the power of God, that's why it's called unique, is not like creaturely power. Bakit? ang ating pong kakayahan is limited. Ang Diyos is almighty. Pero, nag experience ba natin yung all? All. Hindi pa natin experience yung all eh. Pero yun po ang ating bansan. Almighty. Bakit? Abay. 
kaya niyang patigilin ang unos. Di ba? This coming Sunday's gospel. Oh? I mean, last Sunday, ba? He walks over the water. Kaya niya mag-multiply ng five loaves and two fishes to feed and satisfy 5,000 men. All, almighty. Walang ibang ginyan sa atin. Kasi we're just creatures eh. Ah, yan na yun. Next, creator kasi siya of heaven and of earth. And this affirms, siya lang ang kaisa-isan Diyos. Bakit? Eh lahat creatures niya. Kung siya ang creator of heaven and earth, kabuan, ah, maging langit at lupa, therefore the creator which appears 24 times in the gospel, in the Bible, 20 times in the old and only four. So nakita nyo, ah, this is almighty and creator of heaven and earth is Old Testament. Ito ay parang traditionally received by the apostles from the Jewish faith. Pero itong creator, several times, 24 times, but only creator of heaven and earth, buo, three times lang. Pero ha, Genesis chapter 14, Abraham. And after three verses, 22. And the prophetess, the judge, Judith, 1318. Yung buong creator of heaven and earth, is a faith belief of the Jews. And it's na, it's in the scriptures, in the old more often than in the new. Now, ito sa kaliwa po, what is bara? <laughs> Hindi po yung bara yan sa ilong o bara ng inodoro, whatever na bara. Bara is a Hebrew verb to create. If God is the creator, yung word bara, create, Only God, only God, siya lang po. And no one else is its subject. Siya lang po ang nakaka-create. Walang iba na nagkakreate. Only God, especially in the scriptures, is called creator. Kasi ngayon, no? Mga graphic designers, ang tao sila, nasa creative. Okay. Hindi po eh. All of our creative design comes from what we have experienced. Of course, our mind can play. Imagine, ang tagal na po ni Dumbo. May nakakita ba kayo ng elepanteng pink? Lumilipad ba si Dumbo, PJ? Lumilipad, di ba? O alam ni PJ yan. Nakakita ba kayo ng elepanteng lumipad? Pasalamat kayo. Hindi lumilipad ng elepante. Bakit? Eh, dapuan kayo nun. Di ba? Buti pa yung langaw, kaya kayong dapuan, pero elepante, dapuan ka. Pero meron tayong ganun mga story. Ah. We have the transformers, we have the avatars. Creative of the mind, pero hindi naman created. Di ba? Hindi tunay na bara. Kasi we use reference of what our sense, sight, hearing, ex- taste experiences. You create a new venue. You create a new bread. You create a new... Well, you don't create. Only God creates. God is unique in power. Unique. Period. Only. The only one God. Yun po ang ating Artikulo Uno. Therefore, ngayon, application. Di ba sabi natin, we have to proclaim. We have to testify. To testify, show with works. Believing is testifying, then proclaiming, show and tell. So if we have this Articulo Uno, what do we believe? Article of faith. What is our faith? We have to know what to say, but above all, how to live. Ito po. If we say, I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven, we proclaim my Father and Creator. Yan po ang ating proclamation. Pero, brothers and sisters, it's better to live humbly as His child. Father, His child. Creator, humble. Huwag po tayo magyayabang. 
hindi po tayo ang Panginoon. Above all, hindi tayo ang pasimuno may gawa ng langit at lupa. I think we have to take our rightful place. Saan ba dapat tayo ang ating tamang lugar? And therefore, our posture to live humbly before God. And the best, as we said in the Gospel today, like a child. Bawo po. Yan po ang artikulo uno. So, brothers and sisters, kung nakikita niyo maganda to, bukas punta tayo sa artikulo dos. God bless.